meeting my dad at Sarge's for breakfast to talk about his impending death. Hey, Dad. Hey, son. How are you? So tell me about your health first. Before my health is perfect. Yeah? You look skinnier. I feel perfect. You got your coleslaw, you got your pickle. I really feel good. So I know I'm not dying. Thank you. If you're sick, Dad, how are you going to pay for medical bills? Money problems are about to be over forever. The birdie yacht to run on water. I'm going to raise about two and a half million to do everything I have to do. So basically, you're done being broke. I am really, 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 really glad I have had the opportunity to go up and down. Because it really makes you vital. It really makes you have to pay attention to life. My father made and lost probably four or five fortunes in his lifetime. My dad has always struck me as one of the craziest sons of bitches I've ever seen. If I was diagnosed with something that was unattractive, like cancer, that it wouldn't bother me because I know I would decide to do certain things that I believe would cure my cancer. He just has a rare gift where he doesn't give a shit what people think. I went back right in front of the whole world. People say to me, you know, you're not doing it right. You're supposed to be suffering. A lot of people are disappointed because, you know, if I'm bankrupt, I'm supposed to be bankrupt. You know, how can you still be okay? Whatever I learned from you is that you appreciate life in every and so do you. day. No, I'm saying I tried yeah, to learn it from that you. Good. But that's about the only good quality, I think. But there isn't any other quality. Well, that is the big fucking deal. <laughs> you were completely absentee and completely selfish for your purposes. Absolutely. Do you remember the five-year-old, Fifth Avenue and 66th Street apartment, I'm inside with a couple girls doing drugs. And mom is called, I haven't answered the phone, and she wants to give you to me. Knock on the door, and I, I refuse to answer. All right? She goes outside, she picks up the windows from the outside, and there's bars, and squeezes you through the bars, and lo and behold, you're in the living room. Holy shit, there's drugs around, I got two girls there, bam, I take you, I put you outside in the front door. I said, this is not okay, you cannot do, cannot do that, I'm dying, oh my God, I got my kids with drugs and girls. So right. what happened? I gave it back to your mother. I don't really remember that, I, but I recall a pile of porno magazines. That could be so. What about the results you're waiting on? All right, well here's what happened. I went to the doctor, he answered in a very diplomatic, I'm looking to find nothing. I said, yeah, but if you were to find something, what were you looking for? He said, well, what you have is a typical sign of having cancer. Now, I've been around my body now for 75 years, so I'm pretty sure I think I know I don't have anything wrong with me. When you hear from your doctor, are you going to tell me the truth if, you, if they give you bad news? Hear from the doctor. 